Hi, I'm Emily and this is Rachel and today I'm going to be doing a prom look with e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I'm going to start with an eyelid primer. Um, this will help make the eyeshadow pop and stay for longer. And I'm just going to use my finger to pop that on Rachel's eyelids. Now I'm going to use the six piece eyeshadow set and the contour brush to pack the lightest shade onto Rachel's eyelids. And I'm going to go in with a slightly deeper colour, the grey colour here, to add a bit of drama and I'm just going to put that on the outer edges of Rachel's eyes. And we're going to blend it using the blending eye brush from ELF. Now for a darker shade. I'm just concentrating this really in the outer edge because if you bring the dark in too far it's going to look way too heavy. And keep blending it every time. I'm going to go back in with the lighter shades to build up the intensity of the colour. with the blending brush. I'm going to use the coal liner next and just trace gently on the upper eyelid to close your eyes reach. This will add a bit of depth to the lashes and ties in the look together a bit nicer. And use the smudger end blend it back into the shadow and then go over again on top. And look up for me and I'm just going to bring the coal just underneath and smudging it in to create a really smoky, smoky look. So I'm just bringing it right into the corners of the inner eye. So now I've cleaned up the underneath of the eyeshadow that had fallen down, which is why we do eyes first when we do a heavier uh, makeup look. And I'm going to prime the skin using the mineral infused face primer. This is silicone based, so it's going to absorb any excess oils on Rachel's skin. You don't need much. And then using the HD uh, cream foundation and a small stippling brush, I'm going to work the product into her skin, just using gentle circular motions. Stippling brushes are really good for applying less product and keeping it quite sheer and natural looking and you also use less product. And then using the concealer brush I'm going to pop on the tone correcting concealer just in the places that she needs it. This is a really creamy radiant concealer. So just going to concentrate that in the areas where she really needs it. I'm going to pop a bit more concealer just in the centre of her nose. And look up for me, Rich. And just underneath the eyes, just on the inner corner. just above her eye makeup here. 
This helps sharpen up the bottom of the eyebrow shape as well and helps the eyeshadow blend into back into a flesh colour. I'm going to go over once more just with the blending brush on the eye makeup so you don't get any visible lines of where the makeup starts and ends. And using the angled blush brush and the blusher in Twinkle Pink. This will give a nice shimmery finish. And you just work along the cheekbones, sweeping it up and down. If you bring it too far in, you're going to bring all the features downwards. So you want to keep it as a lift of colour. And nothing too heavy, especially on fairer skin. These blushes with shimmer are really lovely for proms or special occasions because you've got a bit of shimmer there that's going to catch the light really nicely and look really lovely in pictures as well and blend that blusher back in with the foundation brush just to blend it all in okay so using the eyelash colors we're going to curl the lashes look straight ahead Rachel Elf Volume Pumping Mascara, perfect for a night out again. Look up for me, Rach. And then because we're going to go on a bit more on the eyes, we're just going to keep a nice soft pink. This is the Mineral Lipstick and this is Party Pink. And I'm just going to use the e.l.f. lip brush to pop that on. And it wouldn't be a prom look without a bit of glitter. So I'm going to pop glitter gloss on. Just a little bit, not too much. And just in the centre of her lips. And using the individual lashes, we're just going to add a few on to the, finish the look. These are much nicer than strip lashes. And these just sit on top of the natural lash line. I'm going to use the small tapered brush and the translucent powder to just lock in the look, keep it lasting all night. And I'm just going to use that on Rachel's T-zone. I'm going to press it on rather than sweep it so I don't move the foundation underneath. And look up for me and under the eyes. This is a really lovely brush for getting in all the difficult corners. Now I'm just going to finish with a bit more eyeliner on the top lid just to tie in the lashes to look down for me, Rach. So thank you for watching, this is the prom makeup look that I've created today. This is the six piece eyeshadow palette that is definitely a must have to recreate the look along with the mineral lipstick in party pink and definitely the HD cream foundation. Thank you for watching.